Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're going to the next company in our um, high RIC screener, ticker symbol K-A-R-O. In the, sorry about that. It is in the software industry, 779 million market cap on 740 million enterprise value. They provide mobility software as a service for globally, really. Um, headquartered in Singapore, founded in 2001. We see that growth is pretty impressive. 123 million in 2019, up to 196 million in 2023, with a return on vested capital in the averaging out in the high teens. So that's very impressive. We see that margins are actually down a little bit uh, over the last five years. So not terribly concerning since you're still rocking an operating margin of 25%, but definitely something to note. Income statement side. Pretty large increases of shares here. Uh, net income, like we saw, going up, revenue going up. Uh, nothing really weird popping out. Minority interest, okay. Balance sheet, 45 million cash on, 54 million, sorry, cash on hand. And short term and long term debt of 3 million with total liabilities, 59 million. Pretty safe company uh, from a balance sheet perspective. No, no concern there. Free cash flow generation. They do have quite a bit of capital expenditures, more than I would have thought for a software industry, but they do still produce a good amount of cash, and their use of cash is kind of all over the place. More recently, pretty heavy on the dividend side, but it looks like um, they pay down debt, but they don't have any more, so maybe they'll... Uh, you know, just reinvest at those high teens. I think that'd be a, as long as they can find opportunities to invest at that type of rate, that's extremely advantageous for the company. So let's start making our assumptions here. Revenue growth side, uh, maybe let's do 7% and then let's do 17 on the P price free cash flow, saying that by then the revenue will probably be pushing close to 300 billion or 300 million, which is. A good amount, but I could easily see how in the software as a service industry, they'd have plenty of growth ahead of them, especially if they're in, uh, you know, especially if they're globally in places that might not have some of the American coverage where everything's pretty diluted due to so many businesses. But uh, I could still easily see some good growth ahead of them. Uh, so I feel comfortable there. Margin side, fairly consistent. Let's do... 15 and 16 percent with the share change of let's just do zero assuming that maybe with that excess cash flow that they don't spend on dividends if their stock is cheap enough they'll you know maybe repurchase some at least to offset stock based compensation and then the dividend side they haven't paid a dividend very long so i don't really have history to say that they'll pay more than it I think the payout is, uh, what do we say, 18 above 30. So we're looking at about a 60% payout. I'd prefer them to not increase that and really just find ways to reinvest at those high teens percent. And honestly, not terribly far off saying that needs to fall 33% before you get the return I'm looking for. So I'm just waiting at this point to do more research on it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thank you.